Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer and Coffee. John 15, 11, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. And Philippians 4, 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. <laughs> in Sunday school, children are sometimes taught this acrostic, and J stands for Jesus first. O is others next. And why? Yourself last. Let me ask you, is this formula too childish, too simplistic to be true? Certainly, it runs completely against the grain of our culture, which advises us to look out for number one, and we all know who that is. Even in church circles, we often hear this counsel given to those who spend their lives serving others in the name of Jesus. Take time out for yourself, or you will get burned out. But what do you suppose Mother Teresa would have said had you told her that? Wrestle boldly with answers to these questions. What is the source of the deepest and most lasting joy I know? In times of confusion, distress, and grief, what does it mean to be able to rejoice in the Lord always? Consider the possibility that the best time we can take for ourselves is our time of contemplation before God and our time in conversation with God. Could it be the lack of joy we call burnout is related to our neglect of just such contemplation and conversation with the divine as we seek to aid others through our own strength and wisdom alone? Think about those as we pray. O oh God, how happy are those whose strength is in you. Those who, while going through the barren valleys of life, make them places of springs. In their hearts are the highways to Zion. Cause us to be numbered with them, to find in you our dwelling place. Now and hereafter, grant us the delight of living in your house, ever singing your praise. Amen. Amen. 